Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Immuno Project. We here at the Immuno Project are continuing our series of videos with respect to education, uh, information, inspiration, uh, guidance, and advice. And I want to continue in our stories with respect to the seer of Lublin, uh, Yaakov Yitzhak Halevi Horowitz, the Jose of Lublin. And I mentioned in a previous uh, video uh, where his two Hasidic Rebbe's differed greatly in how to serve God. Uh, the Kotzka Rebbe, he would uh, separate himself, uh, the other Rebbe, um, socialized and mixed in with his, uh, uh, his followers wildly different approaches. Uh, both of which have their source in the Torah. And a similar um, situation was with the seer of Lublin. When the seer of Lublin uh, would see a wayfarer, a uh, wanderer, um, he would invite them into his home. Shabbos for a meal and when uh, the seer of Lublin did this he would um, serve he made a point of serving the meal himself he would bring out the food he's at the table and while the uh, wayfarer was uh, uh, eating and enjoying the meal the seer of Lublin would would stand close by in case he needed anything he could fetch him uh, some more uh, something more to, to drink, something more to eat, anything he needed, the seer of Lublin was always present, always wanted to, uh, to cater to, uh, to his guest. However lowly, for lack of a better word, that person may have been. Well, on one such occasion, the seer of Lublin was doing what he did, what he did. Uh, the man was enjoying a, a wonderful meal, hadn't eaten in a while, so he was really enjoying it. Um, and the whole time, Rav uh, Yaakov, uh, Yaakov Yitzhak was standing nearby. When the gentleman finished, said the Berchat Mazon, the grace after meals, then the seer of Lublin started uh, gathering up the plates and taking them away and taking them to the kitchen to, to wash up. And the uh, wayfarer, the beggar, uh, said, Rebbe, I understand it's a, it's a Torah commandment to be good to strangers and wayfarers and things like that and you were wonderful you gave me uh, this food and drink and, and you saw to my every uh, uh, needs but cleaning up and, and all that stuff afterwards you go that far they do personally take away the uh, uh, the plates the dishes the glasses to bust the table as we would say these days and um The Jose of Lublin, the, the seer of Lublin, um, said to the man, is not the carrying out of the spoon and coal pan from the Holy of Holies, is that not too part of the service of the high priest on Yom Kippur, on the Day of Atonement? I think what the seer of Lublin was saying is that sometimes when uh, we give charity, sometimes when we uh, do something of a charitable nature, we like getting the uh, the, tie, the high attention stuff, the uh, uh, the attractive stuff. The but the more mundane things, that too is required of us. Uh, not just the not just the the high profile fancy stuff, the joy of giving. Um, pleasure one gets in donating to a cause. The service of God requires a little bit more. And um, sometimes the non-sexy part of, uh, uh, of charity work uh, is what uh, is also what God requires of us. Not just the glamorous things. Uh, the carrying out of the spoon and the, and the pan wasn't given to the other priests, the other Kahanim, the Levim, all that. The high priest himself on Yom Kippur, he did the, the carrying out, he did the, the things that you would think would be given to 
uh, to someone else. It's all part of the service. It's part of our service. Uh, when we serve God, when we, uh, uh, when we do what God wants, um, sometimes that requires uh, the more mundane th things, giving of your time, uh, volunteering in a, uh, uh, in a shelter or a, uh, a homeless kitchen. Uh, not just, you know, bringing out the food and being the high attention guy. Uh, sometimes it means uh, in the back, uh, washing the dishes. That too is in the service of God. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch, please learn, and until next time, on behalf of the Emono Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.